Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I want to bring you a new Chanel unboxing. I have a few products that I bought from Chanel that I want to share in my channel. So let's begin. For the first product that I bought for Chanel and, it's, and it will be the main focus for this review, I bought the Gabrielle Chanel Paris Essence Perfume. This perfume got me a little bit intrigued since I had previously bought um, Coco Mademoiselle. So I was very interested to include a new fragrance to my collection and that's why I took the decision to buy the Gabrielle Essence. So here you will see the box. This perfume was launched on September 1st of 2019 and it was a huge success for the brand. Almost all the perfumes are a huge success, but if here I will be do I will try to take out the perfume. The perfume goes out like this. It has this protective cover. And here you will see the perfume. So the story for this perfume it's very, very interesting, and I'll be sharing that. But this is the gorgeous Gabrielle Essence perfume. As you can see, the bottle, it's very beautiful. It, ha it has so many details. Very pretty. The design, very exquisite and very elegant. So the interesting part for Gabrielle Essence perfume is that, as you may notice, the bottle has like this triangles and that they all connect like in the center. So I was reading about it and the, comp the main composition of this perfume, it's white flowers. It's a composition of four white flowers. So the four flowers that make the composition of this perfume that were used by the Chanel are jasmine, which adds adding depth, richness and complexity, Lang Lan, which adds green and fruity notes. We have orange blossom, with a bright and fresh, and we, we have, have grass to rose, enhanced sweetener, creamier, and more floral notes. So the interesting part of this perfume, it's a floral, a warm floral. And I really, really do appreciate it that it's a warm floral. And I will say that being having used the Coco Mademoiselle, this is way um, sweeter. So the top notes that they use were the citrus notes that were, and red fruit. So once you spray the perfume, those are the first notes that you will be we are experiencing. You will have the citrus notes, the red fruits, then the bay, the heart notes are the four flowers that I mentioned previously. And then once the perfume settles and time passes, you will have the base notes, which are sandalwood, vanilla, and white musk. I'm a vanilla f uh, freak. I'm a, val a vanilla lover. So that's why I really enjoy this perfume. So when you spray the perfume, and I will show it for demonstration, it's a gorgeous, a gorgeous perfume. By the way, I have to add that I did a word test of this perfume and uh, I did around an eight uh, to nine hour mark and the perfume hold. So this is a perfume that I might say that it's a, a long wearing perfume, definitely a long wearing perfume. I would also want to say that it's perfect for fall and transitioning for fall winter is a gorgeous perfume since the scent is feminine but at, at the same time it's strong i think it's a perfect 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 uh perfume for fall and winter uh see for for those base notes it's why i'm more inclined to say that it's a perfect fall and winter addition perfume um definitely a must uh, Coco Mademoiselle, it's a very popular perfume, but I might, might say that I prefer way the Gabrielle Essence than the Coco Mademoiselle. And it's, uh, and it's very, 
very interesting for me to say since I'm a huge lover for the Coco Mademoiselle. So definitely, if you haven't tried the Gabrielle Essence, please do. So please try to get like a small size or travel size perfume and try it for yourself because in many cases, um, it's better for you to test physically because of the way perfume, perfumes are made, uh, react with our body composition. So it's a, a, a nice way for you to, to know. But definitely, if you want to add a new fall winter fragrance, I would say go ahead, give a chance to this one, to the Gabrielle Essence. In my opinion, you cannot go wrong with this perfume. I will also add that I think it's a, a perfume that can transition smoothly from day to night. So it's not too strong where you can find it a little bit diffi difficult to use it on during the day. So for me, I, am, I have been using it during the day and it's a perfect uh, transition for day and night. You you won't go wrong with, the, with it. Um, definitely give it a try. It smells gorgeous. So here... Now that it has been settling on, yes, the, the other thing is that it's floral, but the inclusion of the orange blossom, it adds freshness. So beautiful, beautiful perfume. So go ahead, try it on. Um, please do so if you want to try it. You, I think you will not be disappointed, especially if you like feminine uh, scents. Uh, that, that's a huge plus if you are a, a feminine sense and you like them and you love the va vanilla scents and those floral scents you will definitely enjoy it so please go ahead so this is my small review for the Gabrielle Essence it's a wonderful perfume long duration perfume you won't go wrong it's I think it's very difficult to go wrong with a Chanel perfume but yeah give it a try so go ahead and leave me your comment about this perfume if you have it. Let me know if you enjoy it, if it's, if it's long duration on you. For example, in me, I experience a long duration with the perfume. Just let me know. And please, if you have another options that I'm you want me to test, let me know and surely I will add them to the channel. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity of seeing my review and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.